here is my next project uh, I've been here in this house probably almost 30 years now and uh, I had this back door on my garage which I rarely ever used all I had was a cinder block sitting on the ground uh, used that for years anyway I got a new insurance company back in the winter and when they did an the inspection they said no I cannot have a cinder block said I need a step so I scurried around and built that step out of uh, treated lumber put that down of course the grass and everything was here before I dug it out yesterday but um, they told me I had to have that sitting on a slab so that's what I'm doing right now okay there's the concrete I will be using I bought four 60 pound bags, don't know if I'll use them all, but I know I'll need at least three and possibly four. So that's what I'm going to use right there. This wheelbarrow and a hoe is what I will be using to mix the concrete. So I'll pour the bags in here uh, and pour the water in and mix it all up with this hoe. Then I will pour it into the frame. So in order to pour that concrete, I need to build a frame. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, pour the concrete probably about two to three inches around the perimeter of this step that I built. So I got to build a frame for it. So to build the frame, I will need one two by four, but I need the other two by four to uh, smooth the concrete out after I pour it. I'm using uh, four lag bolts in order to uh, secure the frame together. And this, I'll use this 1x3 to cut diagonals to drive down next to the uh, framing to secure it to the frame. Here's the tools I'll be using, a level. Here's the concrete finishing tools I purchased from uh, Harbor Freight, cheap. And a, I'll need a tape measure. And obviously I'm going to need a carpenter square and a hammer. So that's pretty much the tools I'll need. Now to put the frame together, I need a drill. And obviously I'll need a circular saw to cut the wood. So that's what I need so far. Okay, I measured it twice, 44 inches. It was 41 plus I had, have, I had 3 inches for the... Uh, legs that's going to go in here so 44 inches I measured it twice so I can only cut once now this is my makeshift uh, table using those cheap plastic uh, saw horses but anyway I put that that's my table now the problem is this eight foot board when I cut it here most of it hangs over so I had to build a little uh, bridge if you want to call it that to set the board on it so that when I cut it, it doesn't fall. So that's what I got, and I'm ready to cut. Okay, this is what the frame will look like. It's only a three-sided frame because the back one will go against the wall. But I got the uh, lag screws all there, and it'll screw into this board here. Same thing on this end over here. So once I get that screwed together, I'll put it in, square everything up, and level it. Frame is completed. Now I go set it in there, level it up, and be ready. Okay, that's what it's going to look like. I guess you would call that an apron. I got a couple inches all the way around the perimeter. Okay, I pretty much got it level and secure and square, so I will start. I don't have any sand to put on the bottom, but I got a lot of these pebbles that I pulled out of there. So I'll put those in before I pour the concrete. I'm undecided whether or not I want to put some reinforcing wire. I might because I got some extra. And also about the back wall. I tried to find out if it was legal to pour the concrete against that brick. I couldn't find any information at all. So I'll pour it there anyway. Okay, the frame is pretty much level. I had some 14 gauge fencing. I cut a chunk of that, threw it down in there. Uh, give it a little bit of strength. but. Uh, all right, I guess I'm ready to pour some concrete now. Okay, I am mixing up the concrete inside the wheelbarrow. I got three bags, two bags in there right now. It says to use two quarts per bag, two quarts of water. So I didn't have a measuring cup. 
So I have a quart jar, mason jar, so I use that. Okay, I got the concrete poured, but I don't have a clue what I'm doing. I know they put a board across the frame to make sure that there's no humps, I guess. And I got the other big trowel to try to smooth it out after it dries a little bit, so that's what I'll do next. After it dries a little bit, I'll try to smooth it out. Okay, it's been a couple days since I got it done. It's been a couple rainy days, but it is uh, done. A couple little marks on it where I dropped something on it, but oh well. And it's kind of got a rough texture to it. Not that I intended to have a rough texture, but that's just the way it came out. So I'll go ahead and pull the boards off, uh, put the dirt around it, and I will be done. Framing boards removed, uh, dirt filled in, and watered it down. And now we'll put the step back on and we'll be all done. Now I did put a little bit of pitch downward so it runs the water away from the building. So other than that, it should be okay. Looks like a spider is already taking up a homestead on this place so I guess the spider likes the uh, slab okay that's a finished product that was my objective to pour a concrete slab to set my wooden step on so I am all set